Utica. With the company, you know, they shouldn't be posting bad stuff like that. It should be handled in a in a good manner. I don't know who runs their Instagram page. So if anyone wants to know if you get messed with cops. All right, guys, you got to stick around for this video. Um, we're going to be riding the Surron, but we have so much to talk about the Onyx. So much has went down in the last few days with their website, them saying they're going out of business and everything. So stick with me. We're going to be riding the Surron, like I said. Um, I wish I was riding the Onyx so I can talk about the Onyx when I ride it, but stick with me. This video is going to be about the Onyx and what's going on with the company. All right, guys, so tons of shit. Tons of shit's been going on. Um, it looks like Onyx is going out of business. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Hopefully they release a statement in the next next day or so. Or They said about a week on their Instagram page. But they posted a bunch of crazy stuff. I'll try to have the screenshots for you so I can throw it up on the screen right now. If you guys missed it. They uh, recently got deleted. We don't know if it was an early April Fool's joke. And then everyone said, no, it can't be. Um, I don't know. Or someone got drunk and, you know, posted some random stuff on the Instagram page. But no one knows what's going on. But it looks like Onyx is done as a company. And people that have orders with them, uh, you're urged to contact your bank for a chargeback just in case to be on the safe side. Um... John Angel, he's a good part of the community and super nice guy. He called me on the phone and was talking to me about it a little. And he basically told me, uh, do a chargeback now and wait for a statement, but do it as soon as you can to be on the safe side. So uh, I contacted my bank and I talked to my bank about it. And I didn't want to dispute the whole thing because, you know, I got an Onyx bike. You know, I love the bike, it rides, it gets me to and from. Um, but it it came with with missing parts that I paid for. And I still haven't got them. And it also has a lot of issues that the bike needs to fix on it. Like the frame, or oh, I guess they call it the tubing in the back, it's bent on my bike. And nothing in the back lines up because that's bent. They said to bring it in so they can fix it. But if they're going out of business, they can't fix it for me. Um, let's see what else uh, they had on there. Oh, I was getting power cut issues on the bike. So they said to bring it in so they can check that out and possibly fix that issue. They didn't know if it's a throttle or a battery. The first day I also rode the bike, the headlight got condensation in it. So they were going to replace the headlight. And then the seat was the same way. The seat was uh, unaligned. So they were going to send me a new seat. And then I never got my street tires. I paid for those and I never got those yet. So I didn't get stuff that I was supposed to get when I ordered the bike at first. And then I'm also needing the bike fixed. And they were really nice actually. Onyx told me within 20 minutes, I said, hey, you know, bring the bike down to one of our warehouses, schedule an appointment, we'll get that fixed up right for you. So it's super cool that they got back to me. I was like, great, but I don't have a ride over there. That's why I had the bike shipped to my house. Um, I don't have a truck. I know some people that have a truck, but I'm probably going to have to pay them to, you know, go down to San Francisco. I'm about, about four hours away or three hours away. But anyways, it was cool they want to fix it, but if they're going out of business, then who's going to fix it? And then getting replacement parts, I don't think is going to be the easiest. So anyway, I had to contact my bank and basically let my bank know what the situation was. And then I'm not really trying to dispute the whole thing because I did get a bike, but I just got an incomplete bike from them. I got a bike that was missing parts, a bike that needs some, you know, repair work done to it. And it's still under warranty. But now that they're going out of business, you're not going to have any warranty anymore. And you're not going to be able to buy parts for it. Just like I lost my stock charger for it the other day. I couldn't even buy a stock charger from their website. And probably now you're never going to be able to buy a stock charger. So just crazy man just crazy once you see those screenshots i posted earlier you're probably really interested in this video because uh they shouldn't be posting stuff like that even if there's like a slight issue with something going on with the company you know they shouldn't be posting bad stuff like that it should be handled in a in a good manner i don't know who runs their instagram page 
that's just unprofessional to me but uh i would highly suggest no one buy an onyx rcr right now until the company figures out what they're doing with the company if it's even if it's totally going under or they're switching names or they're not going to be making the exact same bike anymore and they're going to be moving to something different you guys might want to hold off so everyone that ordered a bike that hasn't received theirs yet i was told by john angel that you guys should be getting your bikes they're still gonna make the bikes that people ordered but if you're really on the unsure side and you just place your order say like you know within the last couple weeks you might want to uh maybe try to contact them first and if not the next day you should just contact your bank and look for a chargeback and tell them the situation and if you don't have any screenshots of the page when it went under and they got and they posted a bunch of stuff ooh, it's a cop. you might want to um come on bike. the dog got stuck um you might want to go on the onyx pages and uh, you can find the pictures people posted them uh, i'm curious to see if this uh cop will do anything so if anyone wants to know if you get messed with cops with an electric bike i mean i'm right behind them i don't really want to I don't really want to pull up next to him. <laughs> I don't want to be doing the same mile per hour as him and look at him. He might, he may, he might pull me over. But I mean, hey, we're you know we're right behind him. He hasn't done anything. I just want to be careful. I'm not trying to fly past him doing 50 miles an hour because that's how you get yourself in trouble. I'm sure he had to see me pulling up before he passed by me. And these things don't make a, a slight noise whatsoever, really. Uh, once you're about like 10 feet from the bike, you don't really hear it. He might wait for me. Oh no, he's going. And we'll just keep a, I'll keep an eye on my rear view mirror just to make sure. <laughs> you never know if he's going to make a U-turn after uh, maybe I pulled up and he kind of saw a little better look of it. But overall, I don't think cops trip about anything too much because these, these are completely quiet. You know, like if you're not being obnoxious, maybe it's just a dirt bike and it's super loud. It's all choppy. You know, you're making a, a loud old noise. You know, they might kind of look at you, take a different look at you, but... Something like this, man, they don't really care. Just don't be an idiot. Which I have. You know, have your fun. Do what you want to do with the bike. I'm not trying to tell anyone how to ride their bike. You know, have your fun with it. I'm having fun with mine. I'm doing stupid shit here and there. But, you know, don't be stupid when you see a cop or, you know, you might get busted for some shit on a, on a road. So... All right, guys, well, I'm going to keep recording, but I'm going to end the video here until uh, I get off of work. So you're going to see when it's nighttime. I'm going to close my visor, so I'll see you guys. What up? What's up, everybody? Finally off of work. I do not know if this light is going to go for me or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but I remember last time I tried to run it and there was a cop right behind me. So that kind of sucked. Somebody's kind of worried of that. Hey, that guy picked up a bunch of dirt. Alright, I'm not... I'm about to not sit here much longer because I got I got shit to do. Uh, I hate this light. I really hate this light. Fuck this light. Do -do -do. Let's 
go, boys, let's go. I should start uh, naming my videos Talk Time with Jonathan on the Suron or uh, Onyx or something. Um, I don't know if everyone's been checking out the story, but today Onyx actually um, posted that they're still in business, everything's still good, and they're still making bikes and all this kind of type of shit. So I don't know, man. I made that bank dispute, you know. Uh, I'm gonna tell them everything that's going on. I'll see what they say. I feel like I'm stuck in a hard place because like I want to make the charge with my bank and I I mean I already did and they're they're doing it for me but I don't want to get I don't know like if I get my money back for the bike or some of it for the bike you know I don't want it to be held as a grudge and they don't ever want to work on my bike or uh, you know I don't know I just don't know where the company is headed right now because they post so many statements you know, this going on, that going on, I don't really know what to think. So who knows? I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't want my money back for the bike. If they're going to send me all this stuff, if they're going to come pick up my bike, uh, fix it for me, send it back to me, I'll be more than happy to ride the bike and not get any of my money back for the bike. I just want what I paid for and all that stuff. So, damn, people just run the fucking light, I guess. People are uh, interesting. On the other hand, I want to do the charge back and make sure I protect myself because if Onyx really doesn't stay a company or anything like that and I'm not going to get any, any of my parts for the bike and they go under and then I say, oh no, it's all good. I don't need the charge back anymore and then I'm, I'm basically kind of screwed. So I don't know. I feel like these people are drunk or something. I say that because they went to the right side of the railroad tracks where they almost looked like they were gonna hit, hit it. Dude, what is up with everybody? That guy was on the wrong side of the road. Can we go people? This is why I don't drive a car anymore in, in Fresno. It's like, people see some type of construction zone or something, you know, there's no one working. It's 11 at night. It's just they don't know what the hell to do. You drive the same. Still a little afraid to uh, get the bike sideways. <laughs> Still not used to it. I don't. I don't want to push my luck and end up on the side of the road one of these days when I got stuff to do. When all I'm really using this bike is to get to and from work, and when I have a day off, maybe go and have a little bit of fun. That's it. Not kill myself.
Come on, let's go. It's cold out here. Got crazy drunk ass people everywhere. I think the car that I was behind is behind me. I'm not sure. Got to be careful nowadays. make some cookies with my girlfriend that's what I got to do today so everyone move out the way road is a 30 oh i guess it's a, it's a 35 right here but it actually turns to a 45 so it's actually a little slower than i thought get out of the way get out of the way This gives off a distinguished noise. Like if you're kind of within the distance of hearing it, you'll hear it slightly. Um, after seeing my buddy ride it in person, it's different from seeing it in videos. Um, the headlight, it's different than anything else you see. You can tell it's some type of bike, but it's a lot brighter than something you would have on a regular mountain bike. It, it looked unique. That's all I can say is when he was coming down the street. So that's probably what they see. And then if you barely hear it, you're like, what the hell is that? It just kind of catches your attention. Whereas the other one, you just, if you're not paying attention at all, you will never hear me go past. All right. So we're back, guys. Same old ride. Like I said, I'm going to start calling this John's Talks on the onyx of the Suron. but all right guys uh, i'll see you in the next one i appreciate you guys following and stuff i know a lot of you guys i've said it before are probably looking at buying one of these bikes or just got into it and you just you know had these videos on repeat or you just scrolling through every single little content you can find that's what i did and that's kind of why i decided to start putting these videos out that and for my safety of riding so all right i'll see you guys